Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome yourselves back to War Thunder with yours truly, Weeby. Now today, we're going to be taking out the Tiger 2 H Premium. Uh, this thing came in the recent patch, and for whatever reason, I don't know what the SLA16 stands for. I'm assuming probably the engine. Uh, but this thing comes with a diesel engine and a load of tracks on the side. So, yay! Things! Um, I can't remember how many gold it was. Uh, I probably assume around about the same as the Yag Panther, but um, yeah, we're going to be trying this out today, and I'm also in the lineup going to be having the Dornier 335B2 with the 330mm cannons and the 220s with a load of bombs. Um, I would assume this thing's going to be very good in ground forces, I'd assume. Uh, let's hope I don't die so quickly so I can actually test it out. Before I do, there is the stat card. It's about range 6.7 in realistic. Uh, it has many, 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 many 88mm rounds. Uh, armor, I think, is pretty much bang on the same as the normal King Tiger. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Yes, except the difference is, do I get that on the normal one? Oh, you can eventually unlock the PCGR 40 uh, rounds, but on this it comes with its stock. So it's always fully upgraded, which is nice. Um, what is there that we could show? The extra track armor on the side. Wow, that's 30 millimeters? That, no wonder it bounces shots every so often off of it. So if you went there, you'd have to go through 93 and another 150. Okay, so what if what if I got shot like from there this way? So 32 plus 84. So that's like 110. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. All right, let's flank wide wide left, I think. The 105. Yeah, I don't really like the 105. I don't own it yet, so. I mean, it's good, but it just doesn't feel like it does enough. Don't worry, we are saved. We have a Dickard Max. Hey! Although a Nash Horn would have been better, to be honest. Oh god, yeah. Fucking. The NAS one looks like a good artillery piece. Just it look, it looks like an. Elevation. It honestly looks like an AA gun. In, for, in fact, I think it is an AA gun. I'm waiting for the anti air 88mm for tanks. Yeah, but I want flat rounds. So they explode in the air. They're working on that currently. For HE shells. It's like bang, 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 bang. <laughs> As and you, and what you could do is if you're in an AA vehicle, you'd. Oh, halt! You could set the gun convergence. Uh, so, like, instead of it being gun convergence, it could be kind of like shell explosion range or something. Yes, but you'll have to do it in match as well. Which I don't think they'll really allow yet. Well, it's. Like, if you wanted to change, you know, it's literally a pitch button, isn't it? Or something. It's a bindable button. Yes, but we're talking about Gaijin. <laughs> well, they might do. You never know. Yeah, it's in about three years. No way, it's bomber cockpits. Yeah, that's actually was one I was thinking for uh, the future of War Thunder. Uh, patch updates 99.999. Uh, now introducing bomber cockpits. Oh no, they've got to add ships first, mate. Yeah, ships will be coming up next, and then bomber cockpits. I get the sneaking suspicion that ships will be coming in August of this year. I forget who um, posted it, but there is a message saying that ships Ooh. are coming out soon. Okay, he's got no gunner. That's something. Uh, 
And he exploded. I did a thing, Mom! Congrats. <laughs> Unless you win a match, we'll still not love you. Alright, keep an eye on left side. You know what those sneaky Russians are like. Or facing everyone. So. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, you know what those sneaky allies are like. Alright, I'm just gonna try and move as fast as I possibly can. Oh, apparently they're in our spawn now. Uh, well, the Walker Bulldog will be. Um, I seem to be clear. Seem to be. I think. Okay, right. Now, when it comes to trying to cap A, that's a whole different ball game. Um... I can't really see- I can't see anyone up front. Um... Maybe we could go. Although their swarm point is right up ahead as well, as well isn't it? Yes. Oh, it's it's gonna... a little bit past that uh, pump. Yeah. Oh, it's the only way we're actually going to be able to move up, though. Uh. Oh, AA gun. Put a shell into him. And load some rather nice high explosive. No, no, don't run away! Aim under it. Got him. Let's see if we can blow up those. Uh, You'd think, logically, one explosion would make them all explode. Yeah. Secret document! Um... Oh! God, that guy's alive. Oh, Where God. can I shoot him? Everywhere, the machine gun. You can shoot him now. Got him. That guy's still being shot at though, dude. On the road somewhere. Oh, there's an AA gun over there. Got him. Uh, well, this escalated quickly. Okay. Uh, oh shit, they're capturing B. Let's go. We've got to try and overcap them. Uh, we got a bomber hitting them right now. Two, three, four. Hopefully it kills. Only hits. If only it worked like World of Tanks, where if you hit them in the cap, it would uh, not reset it, but at least stop Blow it. it. Down. Okay. I think that came from the castle. Yeah, it did. Spawn campers. Elevate. Oh, so close. Bounce the shots. Come on, we've got to out cap them. Yeah, I'm actually right. tempted to jump out and get in the Dornier. Oh, yeah, you can probably do that. With your points. Unless we can out cap them. No. They're already on the resetting of their side. We're not going to make it. Alright, I'm going to go jump in the Dornier. Okay. Go, my friend! Cap! Cap! Oh, God! 
Where the fuck did that shell come from? I don't know, but I heard it. <laughs> oh, through a hill. That's what. Low oh, graphic. Through two hills. Was okay. it? Was it a low graphic scrub? Oh god, yeah. You shot me through two hills. Come on, come on. Are you able to spawn in? In an AA gun or anything? Oh wait, you said give me a moment. Oops. Oh come on, Dornier, faster! Come on! Faster, please! Faster, please! Come on! Come on! Are you kidding me?